a long weekend and also hey Lola I know that um, people have been sending me messages and so forth which is lovely to say um, how's it going with, with all the heavy rain how did it all go so sorry about the hairdo it's um we did get rain but as you can see nothing like <laughs> nothing like what they got up New South Wales but it's been very very beneficial and very helpful but I've got to show you something if you know me you know that Lauren has always been my special cow and she just had her bobby didn't you Lauren hey Lauren where's a peekaboo she's the most gorgeous mum last year Lauren her, she, her calf oh look he's going for a little drink Lauren's calf um, passed away she got really sick what are we doing there that's Rosie there's Rosie running around like she always does had her calf oh no she's looking for oh she's looking for her calf calling out because a lot of the calves are sleeping up in the front there's lauren i'm so delighted to see lauren with her baby hear that little noise she's making Staying close to her car. Good morning, Milkmeister. So, do you want to come for a walk anyway? We'll go down in the paddock. So, a lot of you know because dairy farms don't have lots of trees in the paddocks, what Ken does here, because we have lots of trees in what's the laneway, which goes all the way down the other What, what she does, what he does, sorry, is we leave it all the gates open so all the cows can just come and go into the paddock as they please. So in case they want shade, which is not just always about hot weather, morning sweethearts, it's also about cold weather, like heavy rains and so forth. Not that we've had them. Because the cows will always get out of weather extremes. Gorgeous girls. Come on, up we go. Someone's got a case of delayed Monday itis, it seems. Um, yeah, so the cards will have to be sleeping together, sitting together. Hi, darling. And they just go back to mum when they want food. <laughs> Probably not different to most species as they grow up. Now, the other reason I'm down here today. one of my cows little squirt who you've all seen squirts too small to get into the Jersey and they need 
need to be friendly. Some of the cows, we always say that some of the cows just want to be cows. They don't want human interaction at all. And it's very interesting to watch that. enough for you to be able to milk in the like you know I don't I don't believe in tying them up and all that um, so you want them to be able to be tame enough that if they have uh, food in front of them they'll just stand and be milked and I have no doubt that Squirt will be one of those cows so as much as it might break my heart I have to do the best thing for Squirt and yeah I think Squirt will be very happy as a house cow and so if anyone ever or is interested, um, email me. It's on the website or, or you message me because I, I only do it as they retire. And so unless there's extreme circumstances and like Squirt is probably extreme because she doesn't really fit into a dairy. She's only like a small, very, very small cow. She's got a beautiful personality. So yeah, if anyone is ever interested in a house cow it doesn't even need to be milked sometimes some people like them as comfort pets they're very very good for anxiety and stress but um have a great day everyone and i'll talk to you all soon